Protesters are gathering at Bangkok's Democracy Monument to call for the removal of Thai Prime Minister Prayut chan o Other demonstrations come as the Constitutional Court considers whether to take up a petition to rule on when Mr Prayut's eight-year term expires. The main opposition party says that it ends today because he took power in a military coup in 2014. Saksith Sayasomba joins us live now from Bangkok for more on this. Saksith, tell us more about the protests that uh, you're seeing today against the Prime Minister. Don, the groups of protesters are rather small, but they are very impassioned and very insistent that today is the last day of General Prayutan Osha as Prime Minister. The argument being he has hit his eight-year term limit. Now, if we can take a look behind me, this is Democracy Monument in Bangkok, and a few protesters have gone up there and have put on a banner and are paraphrasing what it says. It says along something along the lines of removing the system Prayut equates to removing and an end to dictatorship. And this is what they are actually feeling about Prayut Chan Osha. They are saying that his seizure of power in 2014 is a military coup and that he's still staying on this is an extension of it. Now we're going to take a closer look at the issues here. Many sides have many different arguments, each with their own merit. The political transformation of General Prayut Chan Osha sees him going from army chief and coup leader to becoming a long-serving Prime Minister of Thailand. This summarizes the past eight years of Prayut's premiership, which should be coming now to an end, if it's up to the opposition parties. They have filed the latest legal challenge against him, asking the Constitutional Court to rule on a potential term limit. The opposition thinks that they have a good case, and this is their key argument. Section 158 of the Thai Constitution says that no Prime Minister can stay in office for longer than eight years. Sounds simple, right? Well, the question is, when do those eight years start? The opposition says, right here, in August 2014. That's when he became Prime Minister for the first time, appointed a couple months after the military coup. That is almost exactly eight years ago, so that's why his time would be up. But it's not that simple. That part from the Constitution, that was written in 2017, so five years ago, and government supporters say you can't simply retroactively apply that to the past. Now, there's the most generous interpretation, 2019, that's when he became prime minister again, but that was after a democratic election and the first under the new constitution. So depending which way the constitutional court is going to decide, Prime Minister Prayut gets to stay in office for five more years, or by the other extreme, his time would be up. It's not clear yet when the constitutional court will deliver a verdict on this. However, in previous cases, it has tended to agree with the current government, leading some to question its independence. I'm a member of the government, which is a lot of questions about the government. Because the government has to be a member of the government. The words that are used to be a member of the government are not able to be able to explain it. In many cases, we can see that there is a lot of different things that are different. And also, there is a lot of different things that are related to the government in the long run. Nevertheless, the opposition appear confident that the judges will rule in their favor. สารรัฐธรรมนูญเป็นสารที่ใช้ทั้งข้อเท็จจริงข้อกฎหมายโดยเฉพาะเจตนารมณ์นะครับของรัฐธรรมนูญเข้ามาเป็นองค์ประกอ
There was a time when Prayut Dhanusha appeared to be a reluctant prime minister. But eight years after he seized power, his choice appears to be to remain at the helm as long as he is allowed to. Saksit Saya Sombat, CNA Bangkok. Saksit, what, if anything, has the Prime Minister said about this issue? I mean, is anybody from his cabinet commenting on this? The short answer of Prayut is nothing. He has been very reticent about this issue. He has evaded questions uh, about that, and today was no different. He actually skipped his regular post-cabinet uh, weekly presser, not saying nothing at all. He actually excused himself to the reporter, saying that he has a sore throat. Now, uh, even though whether or not this is true, that's another matter. But uh, we're not going to hear anything from Prayut himself. We're also not expecting any action whatsoever in the coming days. Now, the Constitutional Court is expected to come to its weekly meeting on Wednesday. And that's where they could decide whether to take on this case or not. And even if they take on this case, it's still going to be a couple of weeks when they're going to deliver a verdict. So this goes to show that the government on this hand, they are very unconcerned about this issue. And even though this might be dragging on, but the people behind me, they're not going to be happy about any of these developments. Saksith, thank you very much for that. Saksith, Sayosomba, they're reporting from Bangkok.